Welcome, wonderful people. I did this especially for you. So welcome to this class today. We are going to look at how to prove the area of a trapezium from a rectangle. If you look at this, this is a rectangle. If I take one side away, it becomes a trapezium. You see that? This is a trapezium. Um, I can complete the triangle by just doing this. This is a triangle. Okay, let's see how it works. Remember, this is half the length of this part. There are conditions for going. This is the base. This is the height. And this is the height. Two sides of a rectangle like O. This is also two sides of a rectangle like O. So half over B over 2 plus B over 2 is going to give you B. So what do we do in this case? Remember, I, I want to do this as well. Remember, so in this case, I take this away. So when I take this away, I have this and this. Remember, for this side, this shape, so we have two shapes, C3, this is C3, and this is C1, C1 plus C3. So in this case, I'm going to have, C3 is going to be half base times height, which is this height, then plus this and this, and this is also another triangle, this is another kind of triangle, which are going to be base over 2 times height. So we have base height over 2 plus 1 over 2 uh, base over 2 all H. Now remember, for a trapezium, the top of a trapezium is always given as an A. The top of a trapezium is given an A. Therefore, I'm going to do say let B over 2 becomes A. So in this case, I'm going to say B half over 2 for this triangle here, here, and here. It's for this one. Then plus 1 over 2 A H because B over 2 is A. So I'm going to have B H over 2 plus A H over 2, which is the same thing as saying H over A plus B all over 2, which is area of the trapezium. Thank you. Remember blessed.